YouTube has no shortage of strange channels, from ones entirely dedicated to making odd or just outright weird videos, to whoever Cooper2723 is, who is also strange according to this YouTube video. But I think I've stumbled onto a seemingly weirder set of YouTube channels. They are so strange that I've had to ask myself questions like, are they all run by the same person? Is this all the work of an AI? And most importantly, who is Jeff? One day while watching YouTube videos, I came upon this monstrosity in my recommendation feed. If someone asked me what clickbait was, this is what I'd showed them. I mean, just look at it. Don't say, wow, 96% fail. Why did they put clickbait arrows on both the word wow and 96% failed? That's a bit much. I was going to ignore this video, but the thumbnail was so outrageous and bizarre, I let my curiosity get the best of me, and I checked it out. Thus begins my descent into a rabbit hole. The video itself is frankly hot garbage. It starts off with a text-to-speech narrator telling you to not say wow while watching the video. Oh, I guess I failed. And then it proceeds to show you a compilation of those oddly satisfying videos you see everywhere. That's pretty much the entire video. And of course, the video has so many goddamn call to actions. Oh, go subscribe, go like the video, comment below, rate my video 5 stars in my space. Yeah, you get the gist. The video is pretty bad. But other than this video being horrendously low quality, what's wrong with it? It's not exactly a crime to make terrible content, otherwise half of YouTube would disappear overnight. So what's the problem? Well, after watching the video, I got recommended another one quite similar to it, except it was made by a different channel. And once again, my curiosity gets the best of me, and I click on it. I watch it, then I look at my recommended again, and there's another video that looks the exact same but it's made by a different channel again. And then there's another, and another, and another, and another, and at this point, I'm wondering how many of these videos are there. After a while, I finally stopped, and in the end, I found seven channels, all making this exact same style of content, even the thumbnails are the exact same. I know it's not an uncommon occurrence to see multiple channels making similar types of content, it's especially not beneath these kinds of clickbait channels to essentially just plagiarize from each other because they see that this type of content succeeds. And does it succeed? Looking at the original video I stumbled upon, we can see that it has a jaw dropping 16 million views. That's thousands of times more views than my entire channel has. Although given I am an incredibly small channel and my content isn't exactly high quality, but neither is this. It probably took less than an hour for this video to be made, but you probably get it by now. These channels make mediocre clickbait content and they get a bunch of views. What's new about that? Well, just follow me as I dive deeper into this rabbit hole. To really understand the entire scope of these channels, we need to take a closer look at what exactly they upload. There are roughly four categories of videos they make. The first category I would describe as viewer challenge videos, where the title and thumbnail will present a sort of challenge to the viewer to reel them in. An example would be the first video I watch and others such as, don't laugh while watching this and don't touch the knife! The actual content of these videos is pretty simple. Most of them just involve a video or a compilation of clips, and you're supposed to beat the challenge presented. Honestly, the best way you can put it is that it's kind of like a reverse react channel. We can see that these types of videos seem to net the greatest number of views, with viewer counts being in the millions. Now next up, we have what I like to call discrimination videos, where the title and thumbnail gatekeep the video allowing only exclusive groups to watch it. Except you can't tell me what to do. Oh, this video is only for girls? Well, guess what? I just clicked on it! I'm watching the video now! Oh, what are you gonna do? Once we reach the last two categories of videos, it starts to get a little bit wacky. The third category consists of a bunch of videos that have simply titled as, I am able to make multiple false claims, otherwise known as LYING. This is the classic clickbait method, where the thumbnail and title aren't even telling the truth. Like look at this, this video says that it will play after 5 ads. That's not true, I'm pretty sure it's actually impossible. Otherwise, it'd be a living hell trying to watch YouTube if you don't have an ad blocker. And what's worse about the video is that if you decide to click on it, you'll get greeted by an annoying text-to-speech voice acting surprised that you were able to watch the video without getting 5 pre-roll ads. What? You didn't get any ad? And then it eggs you on saying, oh, if it was so easy for you to do that, then how about you try to complete these challenges? 
And these so-and-so called challenges are just comedically easy, spot the odd one out kind of puzzles, where there's an array of emojis usually, and you're supposed to find the odd one out. Now let's not beat around the bush here. It's plain and clear to see that these channels are obviously in it for the views and subscribers so they can make as much money as possible. They clearly aren't dumb, and all these tactics I've showed are used in their videos to get as many clicks and as much watch time possible. That's why they do things like using only the most family-friendly of thumbnails and extending watch time by any means possible. The start of these videos is always like, Hey guys, guess what? Today I'm going to commit murder. Yes. You heard me correctly, and I know you might be shocked and horrified that I'm about to commit a crime, but if you watch through the entire video, then you will see me murder someone, and you're probably asking me how I will do this. Well, you gotta watch the whole video to find out, but first, you need to like and subscribe! <laughs> Listening to them drivel on and on like this genuinely loses you brain cells. Not to mention that annoying text-to-speech voice I use. Okay then. I'm challenging you. You can't watch this whole video without getting a nap. At least it's not the TikTok one, which the is arguably the most test painful text-to-speech ever conceived. Like, it is actually test. so annoying. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked now. Let's go back a bit. You've probably noticed that I haven't actually gotten to the fourth category of videos yet. That's because it's so far removed from the rest of the videos and somehow it's even stranger than everything I've shown so far and I've got a lot to say about it. However, once we uncover this fourth category, we'll finally reach the bottom of this godforsaken rabbit hole at last. Let me just start off with what I've named these types of videos. I've simply called them miscellaneous, due to their disconnected nature and the fact there's not really a common theme among them. Because for some reason, alongside these terrible clickbait videos, these channels have also uploaded YouTube poops, reuploads of Mr. Beast videos, a single Minecraft animation, a generic gaming channel intro, Fortnite videos, and one channel literally turned into a storytime animation channel. How did that even happen? We need to go through all of this again. So we have seven channels that I found, all making the same type of clickbait content. First, we have Spider, the biggest channel out of the seven. The channel started off with two Henry Stickman videos and an Among Us video. After this, they started uploading clickbait videos, which garnered tons of views. But it seems to have stagnated from millions of views to only a few tens of thousands of views per video now. Spider is a good basis for looking at the rest of the channels, as it's the most successful and seemingly the first to popularize these types of videos. Next up, we have Rainbow X. Similar to Spider, Rainbow X also became successful off of the same clickbait content. But if we look at what they uploaded at the start of their YouTube career, we can see that they actually made some normal videos. Well, as normal as two Fortnite videos, a Minecraft animation, and an epic gaming intro can get. What I'm saying is that it's videos some random kid will make and not the usual soulless husk you'd expect to be behind terrible clickbait videos. So yeah, it probably means Rainbow X is literally a 15 year old child. Now you probably noticed that both Spider and Rainbow X have Among Us profile pictures. For some reason, this is a common practice among a few of these channels. I'm guessing it's just another trend hopping thing to attract more viewers, but Among Us is kind of dead already. However, this isn't the only thing they seem to be copying from each other. Let me introduce you to the three Bra Brothers. Three channels that for god knows why, made their channel names something Bra. I have absolutely no idea why they did this. Like, what does this accomplish? What does Instabra even mean? But well, whatever it means, it doesn't explain why and how Instabra transitioned from a channel making clickbait content into creating story time animations. What? I was so goddamn confused when I first stumbled onto Instabra's channel, thinking it would be just like these guys. But instead, it's someone going by the name of Jeff. Yeah, that's who Jeff is. This YouTuber who started off with the same clickbait content these other channels were making, but then suddenly started doing story time animation for some reason. Well, not exactly. When I first found out about his channel, Jeff had just posted an animated channel trailer, and in this channel trailer, he seemed to insinuate that he would start doing story time animation. However, if you look at Jeff's channel now, he really only uploaded one video that could be considered story time animation, and he's not really making story time animation videos anymore. It's more so just videos that happen to have animation in them. But all he really does is just put his character on screen and lip syncs it. But to his credit, animation isn't easy or quick to do. And at least, I can say his current content is better than what he was doing before. As of now, you've seen the good, the bad, but now let's look at the ugly. So far, the channels that we've looked at are generally not problematic. However, these next two channels are actually just scumbags. 
First, there's Zetux, who hasn't been that successful from doing clickbait content. They only have around 700 to 800 subscribers, and because of their lack of success, they've resorted to straight up just stealing Mr. Beast's videos. They also keep changing their channel name and profile picture for some reason. Since I first started writing the script for this video, I remember seeing Zetux have around 4 different channel names and profile pictures. Now we finally reached the last channel of the bunch. Foldify. The story on how I found this channel is actually very different from how I found the rest. Originally, this channel wasn't even on the list of channels I was going to talk about in this video. I just so happened to stumble upon it because one of the other channels uploaded turning red YouTube poops and I was trying to find which channel it was, but I think they've since deleted them because I can't find it now. But during my search, I came upon Foldify, who also uploaded YouTube poops that suspiciously were also about turning red. So what I think happened was that one of these channels just simply stole Foldify's YouTube poops and re-uploaded them but then removed them afterwards, or they just got copyright striked by Foldify. Now that you know how I discovered Foldify, let's talk about their channel. Other than YouTube poops, they also happen to upload these small, tiny, very insignificant and wholesome videos called uh, Milking the Death of Technoblade. Oh, what a great guy, am I right? Foldify is totally not an asshole. By the way, you shouldn't attack Foldify in any way. Even though he makes my blood boil, don't go after him. Not giving him attention is the best way to handle this situation because people like Foldify make these kinds of videos specifically for views and attention. But yeah, this guy can go fix himself. Ah, so we finally finished exploring this rabbit hole, and we found a lot of things. I first thought that I was just gonna talk about how there were like 6 channels doing the same kind of dumb clickbait content, but as I looked into this further, I kept finding more and more usual things. I guess that's why they call it a rabbit hole. And while usually it's interesting and admittedly a bit fun to keep on unraveling a string of yarn connected to a massive ball of YouTube lore, unfortunately this time, we ended up just finding this scumbag. I feel like there's still more I can say on this matter, such as the possibility that maybe some of these channels are run by the same person, or somehow made of AI or a bot, because these videos have such a copy-paste pattern to them. Although, it's more likely that they're all just cloud changers copying off of each other. There we go, I answered the questions I posed at the beginning of the video. I almost forgot because the script just got that derailed. However, I'm not going to keep going on and on about absolutely everything I found. But what's my final verdict on all of this? Well, first, this guy needs to find a father figure. And second, you're ready to get funky!